In this problem, we're told a fire hose held near the ground shoots water at a speed of 6.5 meters per second. At what angle should the nozzle point in order that the water land 2.5 meters away? So in order to solve this problem, you need to know this formula. Range equals u squared times the sine of 2 theta over g. And so u is going to be your uh, velocity, right? So the velocity at an angle. r is going to be your range or your change in x. So in, in this case, it's 2.5. And then g is going to be gravity. And so we're trying to solve for theta, right? That's going to be the angle. So let's just plug everything in and solve. So r is your change in x. So 2.5 equals u, which is your velocity. So in this case, it's going to be 6.5 squared times the sine of 2 theta divided by g. And so g is just the force of gravity on Earth, which is 9.8 meters per second squared. So we want to solve for uh, theta, which is our angle. Multiply both sides by 9.8. 9.8 times 2.5 is 24.5. And so that equals 6.5 squared times the sine of 2 theta. So now what we want to do is get this 6.5 uh, out of here. So divide both sides by it. 6.5 squared is 42.25. And so divide both sides by that. So 24.5 divided by 42.25 is going to give you 0.57988 and so on. And so we're going to set that equal to the sine of 2 theta. So if we want to uh, get rid of the sine, we have to take the arc sine of both sides. That removes the sine. So the arc sine of 0.57988 equals 2 theta. And so if we want uh, to solve for theta, we just divide both sides by 2. So theta is going to be equal to the arc sine of 0.57988 uh, divided by 2. And so if you go ahead and do that, you're going to get that uh, it equals... It's going to be equal to about uh, 7.72 and so on. Uh, I'm going to round to the whole number. So keep in mind this is in degrees. So I'm going to round to 18 degrees, right? So the whole number. So theta is going to be equal to 18 degrees. So that's going to be one of them, uh, one of the angles. And the other way we get the other one is just subtracting uh, it from 90. So if you do 90 minus 18, you get 72. And so this is going to be your other degree, right? Because it can go from both directions. And so your answers to this problem are going to be 18 degrees and 72 degrees.